Hey guys. <laughs> uh, it's been quite a while since I've made a video, isn't it? The last video I made was literally Heath's Funniest Home Videos, and that was something. I guess then by something I meant, you know, a guy trying to, you know, push down a door because, you know, something and because of some stupid reason. I guess I can tell you the reason why I eat these, uh, these weird cookies I found in the fridge. They're toffee cookies. And I've, I've never had toffee, even though there's... The Heath Candy Bar actually has toffee in it, so... Mm. What happened in that video was, moments before, I don't even know, I was actually lucky enough to even record it. My brother said to the African American in the video that the only good N word is a dead N word. Now, as you guys probably already guessed, you know, we're in the South, so you, you can keep your little stereotype jokes that everyone in the South is racist, which about 45% of the time it's true. 45%. You'll get some good natured people that won't really use racism as a, you know, as an offense to someone of a different color. Like me and a few other friends. But, pretty much, you know, that happened. Yeah, that's how it got came. That's how it came to be. And the reason I said what a meme is because this happens so much, you know. Family's always fighting. Whether it's because people are eating the food in the house or something got taken. It's funny, most of the time I get I, you know, get some food or something, my brother will get mad at me, call me a queer, a faggot, or whatever. Like a few days ago, I was just eating some macaroni and cheese, you know. No one washes the bowls, so that's been my fault too. I was just eating it out of a little pan, you know, trying it out. And he just comes in there and takes it, you know, I was like, what the fuck, no! Fucking, I mean, he, he just, he calls me all these offensive things, which I mean, he's a hypocrite of, because, I mean, he's worse than me. To put it described, like, I'm just a, I'm just a degenerate. Like I'm just I'm just a fucking meat. I'm just I'm just Heath. Like go, come on, there, there he is right there. There he is right there. Come on, don't you tell me that kid right there, the Hunter Stride. He's literally a fucking cuck. Like come on. You know you're a cuck when your child, you know, when you know you can't even see your child when he's when he gets born. You know what I even said. I told myself that I would see that child when he was born. I'm gonna hold that child. Who knows, maybe when that child's older, I'll probably either still be alive or I'll probably be dead before my 20s. I don't know. But it leads me on to another point. It's, uh, it's why I haven't uploaded and how I felt recently. I guess it's because... Play what happened to me. I've done some things I am not proud of. Sorry, a truck was passing by, but I just haven't. Do, you know, I've done a lot of things. I've hurt people. I've hurt people recently. I've always thought about leaving everything behind. I really did, but <sighs> something always, you know, something always stops me. Whether it's someone convincing me, or just looking back. Even then, I started looking back at uh, certain moments of my life. Alright. There's certain moments being like when my grandfather died. February 11th, 2015. Day that my household kind of you know went to shit. My family went to shit indeed. But that game came. I remember the night before I was with some friends. You know. When I woke up, I heard someone talking. 
I got up, you know. This was 2015. This is when I was still in homeschool. You know, lazy, you know. Being a little shit. Oh, I got out. I went left the room. I was like, what happened? I was like, oh, Papa died. Your grandfather. It's like, and I'll even admit, I haven't even cried since then. I haven't even cried. I didn't even cry when he died. You know, I didn't even go up there and see the body, you know, because they were still waiting. Family was there. My mom, my uncle. <sighs> That's actually another thing. After the funeral and everything, we, we basically stayed there for a few months. My grandfather, we turned into a mess because that's how we are. My grandfather, my uncle took everything. He took everything. He just, he took the house. He took, you know, he kicked out my mom and my brothers. You know, he didn't kick out me. He has, he has high hopes for me. I don't even know if he still cares about me. And then, you know. I stayed down at my grandmother's for a few months until like January of 2016. You know, I just, you know, I left because my other uncle, you know, my step uncle, he kind of harassed me saying I couldn't eat food unless I asked him. Because we, we got into a debate a few months earlier about, uh, the, uh, the, my, uh, I took a bottle of, uh, was it, was it alcohol or something. I gave it to my mom because she needed it. You know, it's just a bottle of alcohol. It's, it's cheap. Well, not in my family, but yeah. And they, they kind of called me a thief and everything. Got mad at me. You know, me and my step uncle. We kind of never got really along. I mean, there was a time where he literally hit me with a towel. There was a time where he balled up his fist, and you know, we kind of both said to each other that we would kill each other. <sighs> Man, uh, I eventually left up to come up here in my mom's friend's house. Eventually, my grandmother moved out from there, or well, my uncle forced her, kind of, because kicked out my granduncle, my step uncle, was letting people in there and stay there for free. Probably something else, I don't know. Flash forward to 2017. Look at me now. Look at the type of person I am. I go by multiple personalities. I mean, come on, I even go by this person right here. Like, I actually, you know. It's not even a personality, it's just me, but I don't know, my way of thinking just tells me I'm an alternate personality. I thought about leaving, you know, certain places, but I just can't. I just can't. I don't know what makes, what stops me, what drives me. I know the one thing that might help is if I go to my family's uh, resting place, well, my grandfather's burial, you know, grandfather's grave, where all my other family members are. Found out a lot about my family, actually. They served military, their law enforcement. Isn't that ironic? Fire department. It's interesting, really. I always thought my family was just a bunch of, you know, a bunch of lawbreakers, but, meh. I don't know. Everyone has hopes for me. Most everyone I know says that out of everyone in that family, I'm a black sheep of sorts, in a good way. I don't think that's true. Who knows what'll happen to me? Who knows? Had, I've had two people already say that you know, I'll probably be dead before I'm 24 or before I'm 20. Because, you know, my lifestyle. I don't know. I sleep a lot. That's another reason. I slept for a whole day once. I just sleep so much. It's not healthy. Even the dreams. Even the dreams bother me. I think that's enough of me talking. I kind of don't need to get so depressing, you know. I already kind of made a little, little bit of a joke by putting this on my head. I mean, come on. come on. I mean, I just did that just so it'd be a little bit of humor or whatever. I mean, people really, really do like poking fun at me, but it's my fault. I reveal so much stuff. 
about myself and other people, which is, you know, I shouldn't do that. I'll stop. I don't have to. Alright, well, I guess it's time for me to end the video here and do whatever. Go to sleep, probably. Watch videos. Dream. Dream about what I could do. Yeah, maybe dreaming would be the best option. Alright, guys. I'm out of here. See you guys later. Sarada.